Hello, so this is topic number five in the social enterprise intensive. And in this topic, we're looking at the ways that social enterprises constructed themselves legally. Now, previously in this intensive, we've touched upon the different identities, the typologies of social enterprise, such as cooperatives and charities and social firms and such like. But in this topic, we're looking at the legal question. How does a social enterprise register itself legally? How does it become a recognised entity in its own right? And there's a lot of confusion about this. Okay, There are over a dozen legal forms that a social enterprise can legally register within because there is no legal definition of social enterprise as we've already covered. It's recognised by a number of characteristics and those characteristics can, to greater or lesser extents, be designed into and protected to varying degrees any legal form, such as a company, a community interest company, a charity, an industrial and provident society, a cooperative society, even companies with share capital as well, with shareholders. So there's a lot of confusion about legal structures. So in this topic, we'll break down how to start to approach the question, how to understand it, and the implications that different legal forms can have on the way that the social enterprise operates the way it trades, the way it can raise finance in the future, and the way that it's viewed by different audiences. Also within this topic, we're going to touch upon the topic of governance. And again, governance, like legal structures, is quite a heavy, wordy phrase, and people feel very scared about it, and all too complicated, don't know. Governance is simply about the relationships you want to have with different groups of people. How does the social enterprise engage and work with different audiences and different groups of people in different ways at different times? And through those relationships, how is it held accountable? How is it validated? What gives it its mandate to carry on? So that's the focus for this topic, helping to define and understand some of the options for registering a social enterprise legally, and then also starting to consider the sorts of relationships it has with different groups of people.